For our frog, we'll be using two balloons. We've got a red five inch round. If inflated to about an inch and a half or so, about the size of a ping pong ball. Cut the nozzle end off very close to it. We've got a lime green 160 that I've inflated, leaving about a five and a half to six inch tail. Starting at our nozzle end, we're going to make a little fold twist using about a two inch bubble, two and a half inch bubble. Just like that. And then another fold twist, the same size. That will be our mouth. Now we're going to make a front leg, about an inch and a half bubble. And make a very small half inch bubble. Make that into a pinch twist. Another one the same size. And also make that into a pinch twist so that we'll have two pinch twists on the end of that. Now we need another bubble the same size as that one coming back up. These will be our front legs. Twist that into those two fold twists. Those are his front legs and his two front feet. Now make about a two inch bubble for his body. Make a little small half inch bubble. Make that into a pinch twist. Another small half inch bubble. Make that into a pinch twist as well. This is going to be our frog's little bottom. Now we're going to make his two back legs. Make about an inch and a half bubble. A one inch bubble. Half inch bubble. So we have three bubbles. And this third bubble here will become a pinch twist. Another small half inch bubble. Also for a pinch twist. These are his two back feet just like it is front feet. Now I need to repeat the process coming back up. I reverse it for his legs, so another bubble the size of that one. A one inch bubble. And then about an inch and a half bubble to match that one. For his two back legs. Now I'll come back and put the bubble the same size as that. Twist that into his two fold twists there. That'll be his mouth. And then one more time, come back along his back so that you get three bubbles for his body. Whatever you have left over, remove. Twist it around a time or two to secure it. Tuck that into his body. So we basically have our two fold twists, two front legs, a three bubble, not rogue through, but a three bubble body, and then his two back legs. Then we'll take our five inch round, split it into two bubbles, making sure we get that knot, knot in the middle so it disappears. And then bring that up from the bottom of these two fold twists for his mouth. Come up over the top and cross them over for his eyes. And you have a really cute little red eyed frog here. We'll put his eyes up here. And if you take and you set him down where it compresses those back legs, he'll actually do a little flip for you. And then as a third option, if you've got a little scrap of a red 160, I've pulled a little bubble on the end of it and tied it off. Then we'll take that in with a knot, pull it up into his mouth here, wrap it around once or twice. Straighten his eyes back up so that it's sticking out. And now our little frog has a tongue. Makes him really, really cute. And there we go. Our little frog.